the key thing we're looking at for learning and development is why does the learning program you know exist in the first place we typically put a learning program in place because people have to learn how to do something to be able to do their jobs better so we always want to start with the question of why our programs are impacting the organization to improve the performance of the people to improve organizational performance then how do we how do we justify continuing the program and that's one of the things that we're going to be talking about in my session is how we go about doing that and we're going to look at an actual case study where they use an e-learning program to do that we are overwhelmed with information especially at the digital uh, level and so all this information uh, comes uh, all the time and uh, there are some specific skills that we should develop in order to um, select uh, the information we get there's a, a, a close connection between um, um, uh, digital um, skills digital literacy and uh, critical thinking uh, skills we have a different uh, uh, project as i was saying but one in particular on the use of uh, um, work of arts and the deep reading of work of arts uh, through uh, technology using specific uh, web applications that helped and supported uh, the development of critical thinking skills and a series of cross-sectional skills like cooperation, collaboration and, um, and creativity in particular. We need to find a balance and we need to find a way of using technology in order to support certain other skills, which is absolutely possible and uh, should be supported. We talk with teachers using these kind of tools, emerging technologies and also the Internet of Things or, you know, robots or, and they said, if I want to use it to improve education, um, the difficulty is to maintain the technology uh, as such, or change the technology. I might have enough um, capabilities to analyze it, but to make it fit for education, that's a, that's a, different, uh, that's a different thing. They said, I, I'm not able to prove yet if this is really working better than what we did up till now. Everybody needs to go online now, but how do we do that? How do we do that? How do we arrange things uh, what kind of applications do we use my institution really is a leading one with this using moving to this learning and now we have discussion about should we keep part of it and i think that the challenge here is not technology it's the pedagogy how do you teach you know using all the hybrid model how do you teach engineering for example in our opinion, uh, immersing people within uh, experiential labs uh, has uh, something that a traditional classroom uh, cannot uh, deliver in the same way. We perform highly sophisticated behaviors, professional behaviors. We try to take screenshots and fo photographs about uh, real behaviors that have different and several components technical, behavioral, cognitive, metacognitive. And we try to provide feedback, enabling people to understand all those aspects. What makes very specific this technology compared with others is that you can interact with virtual objects, uh, avoiding special glasses, gloves, or joysticks. So it's pretty a natural feeling we actually were able to look at the tr learning trajectories of different skills and for different pieces of materials for different videos. They had multiple videos that they could try to help the student learn something. And we were able to show by, randomiz by randomizing the order and then analyzing the data, which of those videos actually caused students to learn more. That's the kind of thing that you can do with data um, to really improve your quality. And interactive learning environments uh, from intelligent tutoring systems to simulations to games to virtual reality environments provide rich data on uh, learners' experiences as they're learning, 
And then other data sources, like for example, um, data on people's outcomes after taking a course can be a useful component as well. And it's really in that mixture of data sources that you get the most power. Being able to say exactly what's going on now and then see how it links to what might happen to the learner's future.